Hello and welcome to the Let's Play series of Fallout 4. This is Stormcrow and let's get started. Uh, first thing we'll do is save. Don't really need to save. Uh, I did, you know, I have closed the game out since the last session, so I've saved it. This is just in case. Um, we've already picked all the plants we need to pick last episode, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's pick a quest. Getting a clue. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency, or we can meet or trade craft. The Civil Shroud we will do later. Quarter Mastery and Cleansing don't matter. Taking Dependence, that will be a while. Um, I think we should do Trade Craft. Well, so let's do Getting a Clue. It's simple and easy to start. We just go to Diamond City. I can always pick up some more ammo while I'm there. Ha 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 ha! I don't need more ammo! I'm actually doing fine for ammo. So, uh, the last for the last big batch of videos have all been longer than 15 minutes, where the ones before were all shorter than 15 minutes. Okay, thanks. Um, let's head to Valentine. Isn't it? What am I doing wrong here? Did I not pick the quest? This is weird. I've done something wrong. Let me head back to... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in the room. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm doing. I've never even shopped at the melee guy. I don't even know what he sells. So, I, I plan on following the Brotherhood ending, but... Are you here? Nick? Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a to seat. Defeat Make yourself comfortable. The hunt. Ah, crap. I forgot. I do have to actually sit down. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Okay, uh, let's describe the murder. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they. They just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? Tell about we're looking for my son. Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders. 
super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and full strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Give you your own suit, but you guys have a habit of getting your getting in the way and getting blown up. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should I'm know be left alone. everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Bad news. He's more than just oh. a mercenary. You're He's tall. a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies. They're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. I feel like I'm Keep wasting my course yeah. a little bit. See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. That's something to hide, Kellogg. Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. Nick. Stubborn lock, ain't it? No luck? I guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Yeah, I'm gonna jump off, but if I land on a person, it'll kill them. So, you gotta look before you jump in this instance.
DOA or DEFA Def from above battle tech term where they would use their jump battle tech term the mechs would use their jump jets to jump up and then land on you know the top of another mech Def from above it's one of my favorite tactics That didn't work. Holy crap. <laughs> it's a good thing I was wearing my power armor and a good thing that nobody was underneath. You know what? I'm gonna quick save. That, that's a, that was a lot of cutscenes to go through a second time. Okie dokie, we don't jump our way in. We walk our way in. The platform will open up. There we go. And then we just step right in. No need to get crazy. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. I'm just checking to see how many sellers and the happiness. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. We've seen better days, haven't it? I don't really take that alcohol because Place it doesn't really do much you. for you. <laughs> Bless you. Like would think I, I just said that over. <laughs> Someone sneezed. Oh yeah, the, the thing that I need is... On the Nothing second here. floor. Check out that desk. It's I know where it is, I'm I'm pretty certain. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. It's, it's, it's underneath the desk. Fusion cells. Gamma fills. Two, two of these. Look at this. 
all of a merc's favorite thing. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you with me on this, Nick. Red Rock Truck Stop it is for her. Sorry, all Piper. Right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Okay, we're going to end the episode here, because the next episode we're going to be spending the time tracking. Uh, what's the name of this quest line we're doing? Getting a clue. So, that's what, that's what we're doing. And I want to thank everybody for watching this episode of the Let's Play of Fallout 4. And this is Stormcrow signing off.